Howdy, my name is Leslie Gleason. And I'm Allie Spears, and we're the program coordinators for the Department of Poultry Science. And so today we're going to tell you a little bit about uh, the Department of Poultry Science as well as our virtual poultry institute. So many of you know that we traditionally have a summer camp in person where we bring in prospective students to tell them about our department and what we do. And so as we started talking about how to turn this into something virtual, uh, we decided to go with a format of having some live sessions where you can interact with our faculty and our staff, but also having a series of videos that you can kind of watch on your own time and at your own pace. And so um, the video that we're going to be starting with today is just an overview of our academic department. We're going to tell you a little bit about what the culture is like, as well as uh, some of the things that we offer in our department. So why should you study poultry science? We are lucky enough to, at, here at A&M to have one of the six poultry science departments uh, still remaining in the United States. And we are the largest um, department based off of student enrollment. So what that means is there is also a huge network of job opportunities for our students to go into um, there, because there are so few departments across the U.S. and then also because the industry is so huge and in need of um, people to come and work. So one thing that we think is really unique about our department is we are um, the largest compared to some of the other departments, but we're still fairly small in regards to A&M department sizes. So we think that really gives us a really family ornate family oriented um, and close kind of learning community for our students. Um, it allows our students to have access to our faculty and staff and um, I know personally for myself and Leslie our doors are always open to be there to assist our students in any way possible. So like Ali said, we do come from a large campus. Uh, if you haven't checked the enrollment lately, we're pretty close to the 70,000 mark and so a lot of times when you get to A&M you feel like it's so big, how will you ever be noticed? Or how will you uh, have an actual conversation with a faculty member? We really feel like being on a large campus, we're a small department, and so that family-oriented feel that we have is not only in the classroom, but outside of the classroom as well. Um, as Ali mentioned, both of us have walk-in advising, meaning that students can literally come into our office anytime when we get back to campus in the fall um, and, and ask us questions. So. Um, Students come in to talk to us about academics and classes, but they also come by to ask about job opportunities and internships, or even just to tell us how their day is going. And both of us really enjoy that about what we do. Um, so again, I think having a small department on a large campus has a lot of value to it. And you will notice that um, as you start to interact with those in our department throughout this virtual institute. We also are able to, um, our faculty are able to really build relationships with our students in the classroom, meaning that they are available for questions. Um, our average class size is traditionally around 60 people. And so that really gives our students the ability to ask questions in class, um, to again, be able to go into office hours and not have to wait in line. And so we really feel like academically, um, having a department of our size has a lot of value to it in regards to the opportunities that you have. Um, like I said before, the, the student to instructor ratio is one of the best in our college, um, which we're very proud of. And then we also have a very obtainable average time to degree, which means that uh, you're not going to get to college and spend 10 years here unless you want to. Um, so traditionally for an incoming freshman, four years is the average time. Um, now, this was obviously um, different, I guess, 20 years ago when students truly needed to get here with 120 hours to complete. Um, nowadays, a lot of the incoming freshmen come in with hours, maybe 20 or 30 from um, their time in high school. And so if that's the case, you're going to see this number cut down a little bit. But for the most part, four average, four years or less is pretty average for an incoming freshman to spend with us. As a transfer student, we say two years. It's really hard to put a number on a transfer student because we have some transfer students who come in with 24 hours. And then we have some transfer students who come in with 60 or 70. And so depending on how many hours that a student brings in is really gonna determine how long they spend with us in completing their degree. The main reason that we say two years is because a lot of our classes are prerequisites. Uh, so maybe a fall class is required for a spring class. And so that just allows most students to need two, at least two years with us to complete a degree. 
So poultry consumption is a big thing because obviously the product that we are learning about to produce is going to come into play um, because there needs to be a product so that you can go out and get a job once you complete your uh, degree in the poultry science department. So here's just some fun facts about um, poultry being consumed. Uh, it is the number one most meat, most consumed protein in the United States and then the number two for the worldwide. Um, so again, this just shows you that uh, there's an increase in produ production. Um, more people are eating poultry due to the fact that it's a um, cheaper protein source. Uh, they can use it to feed their families e efficiently and cheaply, um, which in return just means that there's more jobs for our students uh, to go out and uh, get a job once they graduate. And also, specifically, I think speaking for the time that is currently going on with all of the craziness and um, you know people being unsure about jobs, poultry science gives our students a excellent job security because at the end of the day, people still have to eat. So. Um, you're going to have a job waiting for you once you graduate. So to tell you a little bit more about the job market, um, our industry is growing. <laughs> like Ali said, there are more jobs right now in the poultry industry than graduates we are putting out to fulfill those jobs. And so that's a good problem to have. I always joke that if you've driven through a Chick-fil-A in the last year or two, you've noticed that people are eating chicken. Um, and like Ali said, it's a very affordable source, uh, which again means that we're going to be around for a long time. Um, our program is very proud that we, we can um, say students have 100% job placement. And what that means is basically if you were to graduate with a bachelor's degree in poultry science, you can guarantee that there's going to be a job waiting for you in the poultry industry upon graduation. Um, Sadly, there's not a lot of departments on our campus that can say that because um, a lot of it depends on the economy and what's going on. Um, in our market, people are still going to need to eat. And, you know, a lot of times um, people think about poultry science as being chickens, but they don't think about eggs. Um, and eggs as well, an extremely affordable protein source. Most people, um, no matter what their socioeconomic status is, no matter what jobs they have or where they live, most people are going to have a carton of eggs in their refrigerator because eggs go in everything, right? Or you can just eat them as they are. And so, um, so again, this really allows us to have that job placement because of the need of our industry to exist. Um, you'll notice here that we say about on average three job offers per graduate. Of course that's going to vary. If you're a student who gets to our department and goes to class and then doesn't do anything else, you might have a hard time finding a job upon graduation. But if you get to our campus, you really jump in, you get involved, get to know the faculty, get to know the staff, um, we can basically guarantee you that you're going to have some job offers waiting on you uh, upon your graduation. The average starting salary for a graduate in our field is anywhere from 45000 to 60000 uh, which is a really good starting salary. Again, for a lot of you watching this, um, you may not pay the bills yet, and so you may go, oh, that's not very high. I, I thought I was going to have my first job making $100,000 right out of college. Um, and we hope that you do. That would be great. Uh, but at the same time, on average, about $50,000 is a really good starting salary in our industry. Um, one of the other benefits is the next bullet point we have there, which is time to middle management takes about three to five years. And basically what that means is, is the poultry industry is not one of those that you'll be in a job for 20 years before you start getting promotions and higher salaries. It's really a quick turnaround. Uh, people move up through our industry very quickly as long as they work hard and seek out those opportunities um, and, and honestly are also willing to relocate. So when people get into the industry and they're willing to move from town to town or even state to state, your uh, salary is going to quickly jump. Um, and a lot of people in our industry do make um, over $100,000 in what they do. So it's very, very possible. Um, like we said, a great job market for a uh, future career um, if you're interested in working, again, with animal agriculture. So one thing that we really want to make sure that you are aware of, um, I think sometimes people think of poultry and think, oh, it's just chicken farmers. Um, but we are also an excellent way for students who are thinking vet school, um, an excellent way and an excellent route for them to get there. So they're in desperate need of poultry vets in the industry right now. Um, they're not turning enough students out um, to meet the high demand that there, ha that there is. Um, but also students who want to be a small or a large animal vet as well. We have, um, in, in one of the later sessions, you can 
uh, we'll go more in depth into all of the requirements and everything like that, but we built into our technical track um, most of the prereqs in order to make it to vet school um, and kind of guide you as far as being ready to apply and be um, a competitive candidate as well. A lot of our pre-vet students also choose to take advantage of being a double major. Um, so whether that be with us in animal science or us and um, any, really any of the other departments in the College of Ag, um, it's another kind of uh, check mark on your application to kind of show that you've gone out and um, really learned as much as possible while completing your bachelor's and taking advantage of all of the opportunities you have. And again, just kind of makes you that much more competitive for vet school applications. Um, I think one thing that's really unique about poultry science is our classes are very hands-on and um, there's really a, a, lab component, a lab component to almost all of our classes. So in the lecture, you're gonna be kind of learning a little bit more about the theory and why we do things. And then those labs are really gonna be you doing um, and you learning by hands-on um, interaction with our faculty and teaching assistants. Um, and also uh, another thing is internships are highly sought after and Again, just kind of adding to your portfolio and your toolbox to kind of make you super competitive. And the poultry uh, department is, some, is a department that will help you get those internships and help you with shadowing and um, really kind of help you stand out. So with that being said, we've told you a little bit about the basics. Again, over the next few days, you're going to watch a variety of videos covering all the topics of things that we do in our department. And like Ali said, you know, a lot of people think all we do is chickens or all we do is poultry, but there's so much more to our department and what we can offer you. And I'll just end by saying that um, have been have have been a grad or having been a graduate uh, of the poultry science department it's a really unique and special place uh, the people that you're going to interact with are truly genuine about helping you be successful we really want you to get to college and have a good experience not just in the classroom but outside of the classroom as well so over the course of the next few days we hope that you learn a lot um, and again mine and Allie's contact information are on this slide and will be uh, shown to you a thousand times over the next few days. So if there's anything that we can help you with, um, as well as your parents, parents, if any of you are kind of tag teaming and watching over your kids' shoulders here over the next few days, we encourage you to ask us questions as well. Um, both Allie and I are, are available um, with anything that we can help you with. So please don't hesitate to ask us.